Welcome back. The next code component we have is the image component. The image component enables us to display various types of images, including static images, network images, and images from the local disk, such as the camera roll. React Native seamlessly translates the image component to platform-specific counterparts. UI image view for iOS, image view for Android, and the image tag for the web. Let's return to VS Code and understand more. To begin, let's render a static image located in the Assets folder. We will use the adaptive icon.png file as an example. Start by importing the image component from React Native. Next, import the image from the Assets folder. So const. Let's call it logo image, and we use the require function from dot slash assets slash adaptive icon dot png. In the JSX code, invoke the image component and specify the source prop. So image, which is self-closing, and we specify the source prop equal to logo image. If we save the file and check both the devices, we'll see that the image renders but appears too large. To fix this, let's add a width and height to the image. So style prop, width 300, and height 300. Save the file. And now we can see the image within the view. Much better. Next, let's load an image by making a network request. Duplicate the line with the image component and change the source prop to a remote image URI. A convenient place to find placeholder images is pixum.photos. Scroll down and find the URL for a square image. Copy and paste the URL as a string into the source attribute. Let's adjust the size to 300 by 300. When we save the file, we encounter a warning. The warning is because the source prop expects a number, but we have provided a string. When using logo image as the value, we are actually passing in a number that references the image in the assets folder. In order to specify a remote image as the source, we need to convert the value into an object and include a key called URI. The string is set as the value for URI. If we go back to our screens, we'll see the image being rendered. It's very important to note that specifying width and height is mandatory for network images. For static images, React Native can infer the dimensions from the file data. Finally, let's explore setting a background image for a view. React Native provides a second image component called image background for this purpose. Import it at the top, and then comment out the two image components in the JSX. Instead, add the image background component. Opening and closing tags, we pass the source attribute is equal to logo image, which is the adaptive icon. And then as children for the image background component, let's add a text component that says, image text. Save the file, and we can observe that the image appears in the background with the text overlaid on top. If you want the image to occupy the entire available space, rely on the flex property. Style, flex set to one. We see the image now takes up the available space. Let's not worry too much about centering the text for now. As I mentioned in every video, 
We will cover styling and layouts in the upcoming sections. In summary, the image component is utilized to render images in React Native. You can display static images, network images, and even local images from the camera roll, although that topic is beyond the scope of this video. To render an image, import the image component from React Native and specify the source prop. For remote images, ensure to use the URI option. To render a background image, utilize the image background component nesting the desired content inside. In the next video, we will explore our fourth core component. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.